The five stages of grief, losing Myrna. Stage one, denial. Deny me vision because I refuse to see this truth. It can't be true, no way, because you have so much to lose. You're always clowning and teasing everyone. Please stop playing. This isn't funny. No one is laughing. Open your eyes. Don't you hear what I'm saying? Open your eyes. Look at me. Show them that this is all a tower of lies. Cuss at the doctors for making the wrong diagnosis. Or someone pinch me and wake me from this hypnosis. I've already lost so much. I must have fallen into an eradicating psychosis. There's no way they take you away from me. You're all I've got. Your children are crying. Wake up and make them stop. I'm tired of seeing mom cry for no reason. You need to cut it out. You're always clowning, sis, please. No one here understands what the doctors are on about. Your children are too young to have to grow up, and you're too young for your time to be up. She's okay. She's all right. She's okay, right? Why does my throat feel so tight? Why do tears keep blurring my sight? Please smile. Tell me that everything's all right. There's no way life would be so unfair. Our family has had more deaths than births in the lobby. We exchange familiar red-eyed stares. This isn't happening. This can't be happening. Stage two, anger. Why? Why did I have to be made so stupid? Why couldn't I help? Why didn't I listen to the way I felt? I knew something was wrong, but I let my own pathetic fear get in the way. The operator said the CPR might make you okay. I spent 10 minutes and could have spent a day, but you were already gone. This is all my fault. If I had guts, if I were braver, Emily and Eric, your daughter and son, they would have been at school reciting the national anthem and not a Catholic prayer. This isn't fair. Who the hell is out to get me. Why? Why her? Who? Was it you? God? Was it you? If it was, give her back to me. God damn it. You've made a mistake. This isn't fair. I can't stand it. My emotions had taken the form of rage. My thoughts hadn't found a safe place. I've been stripped of my best friend, stripped bare, and it just, it just isn't fair. Stage three, bargaining. Take me, I choose death over my sister's last breath. There's no one who absolutely needs me. Please give her back to her babies. Please let me take her place. Please, the tears have left canyons in my face. The wounds on my knees are scabbing over, but I won't stop begging on my knees. Take everything, I'm sorry. Please give me another chance. I'm sorry, please give her back. Stage four, depression. The days run together and suddenly it's been two years since I lost you. The small bees tattooed on your arm have made their way to my everyday life. At first I thought they combined with time would bring me alleviation, but they buzz in my brain and make me lose concentration. Their stingers dig into my heart, my arms. I became a wilted flower of many scars. I hope you're okay wherever you are, big sister, even though I'm not. I don't know where you are, just that I've never been there before. If it's heaven, I hope you listen to all your favorite rappers on a cloud. I hope you finish your sleeve and your are able to watch over your kids as they miss you from the ground. If there was a God, I hoped he saved you a real chill spot. I hope you're okay wherever you are, best friend, even though I'm not. Stage five is acceptance, a phase I haven't reached yet. I've got a lot on my plate, and it's hard every day because my sister Myrna, Arnoldo, Raul, Melchor, Alicia, Jose, Brenda, I can't accept this yes because that already long list, it ends with etc.